Hi friends, what's up? This is your iPhone 360 leader. It's time to learn how to use your iPhone as Max mic input. With Mac OS 13 Ventura and iOS 16 or later, you can turn your iPhone into a capable microphone input for your Mac. Thanks to the introduction of a more powerful continuity camera, it has become possible to use your iPhone's camera as a webcam on Mac. Notably, the continuity camera webcam works with not only FaceTime but also third-party apps and services including Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams and more. What's more, continuity camera can also let you use a nearby iPhone as a microphone input for your macOS device. If that's exactly what you're looking for, let me show you how it's done the right way. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First and foremost, check out the important requirements for using iPhone as Mac's microphone input. Do know that both your iPhone and Mac must be signed in using the same Apple ID. Then make sure that the continuity camera is enabled on your iPhone. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone, then tap on general. After that, tap on airplay and handoff, and then make sure that the toggle next to continuity camera is enabled. Note that only iPhone 10 or later supports continuity camera, so ensure that you have a compatible iPhone. Once you have taken care of all the important requirements, open the system settings app on your Mac. Alternately, you can click on the Apple menu located at the upper left corner of the screen and choose System Settings. Now click on the Sound option in the sidebar. Then click on the Input tab that appears under the Output and Input section and finally choose the name of your nearby iPhone and you are good to go. Now your iOS device will ping with a sound for confirmation and also display a connect to screen to let you know that it has successfully connected. Now go ahead and get the most out of your iPhone as a mic for your Mac. It's worth pointing out that there is also a quick way to pause the connection. To do so, just click on the pause button on the iPhone screen. When you are done, make sure to tap on red disconnect button on your iPhone screen to finish and that's pretty much it. So that's how you can set up and use your iPhone as max mic input in macOS 13 Ventura or iOS 16 or later. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.